Hey guys, I hope you guys are all doing well. It's finally stopped raining here. The past month I have so many reviews to do. That's no different this month as uh, a lot of my pre-orders start coming in around this time of year. Today we are going to do the unboxing and review of Prime One Studio and Blitzway Jon Snow on Iron Throne. Let's go. All right, so when I opened the box, I was kind of surprised because it doesn't come in foam. It have this big ass bubble wrap around. I think that's the way to go right here. I think it's just gonna prevent the you know breakage and everything else a lot better. So hopefully they keep doing this in the future. All right, so we got everything out. Uh, there's only four pieces to it, and you get a pamphlet and the instruction. So you can have to put the cape on him uh, separately with the belt. All right, let's get to it. All right, I just got it assembled, which is not too hard. Uh, you have a peg here for the saw that you have to push it in a bit. And then this mixed media cape, that's a, a kind of a belt that you have to cross the body and then, you know, put it together in the back. It's just fairly enough. And then you just, you know, sit him down, play with uh, the cape a little bit to make it looks good. So that's about it, man. All right, now let's check out the details. Start from the sub base, you see the skull patterns all the way around. And up top you have the rocky base with the iron throne on top of it. And then you have Jon Snow sitting, holding long claw sword. He's got a boot and uh, his armor all on here. And also this cape that he's wearing. Everything here you see is pretty much sculpted except the belt. These are uh, mixed media or just part of it. Yeah, just this part of it is PVC. Also, uh, if you don't like the cape, you can actually just take it off. You don't have to put it on. And then up here you have the uh, Jon Snow head just looking straight forward. Yeah, pretty simple to the point. Okay, let's check out the measurement. For the length, it is 46 centimeter or 18.2 inches. And for the depth, it's around 53 centimeter or 20.8 inches. The height all the way to the back of the throne is around 62 centimeter or 24 and a half inches.
right with the sub base, uh, the design, the pattern here with the gold, I think it just gives the really good accent to uh, the piece, which doesn't have too much color. That's good. Now, the rocky base, I don't know, man. It's lacking a bit, I, I say. Like, usually that's what Prime One's lacking of. The patterns and everything on the ground could have been better. All right, and the Iron Throne itself, I mean, if you just kind of walk by or just glance at it, it looks really good. But it's kind of lacking a little bit of details, like overall. And the one thing that I don't like that they use is the PVC, like the tip of the sword. They are pretty much all PVC, man. So I think they just do that to prevent all the breakage, like even up here, these are all PVC. All right, now I took the cape off so you can see Jon Snow clearly. Uh, the sword, the long claw here is made of PVC as well as plastic. So I wish they did not do that. <laughs> but um, the scope and detail overall of his costume, I like it, looks good. Like, you know, that's good enough texture and even like the metal parts on his the chest plate looks real okay like the leather looks like real leather as well i really like the way they sculpted that so very well done on that part like even like the inner cord here looks really good and as far as the portrait i think they nailed it i mean it's not perfect but i give it a good 90 percent here the hair maybe they could have defined it more on the top part like the bottom to make it you know stand out a little bit more it's a little bit too bland up top but other than that i think it looks really good man okay and the fur coat these are real really nice and soft here and this here not so much but it will do i mean here so you get this little belt strap that you have to strap him around so it's probably easier if you have someone to help you out all right, the only thing is the base itself with the throne, that's pretty heavy, so you probably need someone to help you with. But, um, you know, other than that, the coat, if you have someone to help you, it will make it a lot easier as well, but one person is enough. All right, overall, I basically paid about $1,000 all in for it. I think um, the promotion photo was a little bit better than the production. I mean, when I see it in hand, it's not bad, but it's not as, you know, good as I thought it was. But overall, I think uh, Jon Snow himself looks really good. But, you know, other than like the PVC parts that, you know, I don't really care for, and, you know, some of the paint that could have been better. But if you have that Nari, it's probably gonna pair together really well, especially, you know, having her next to him with all the dragons. Uh, I'm, I don't care to get that. I just like Jon Snow. So personally, I think it's okay to have in your collection. All right, overall, it's not as good as I expected to be, but for a thousand dollar price, I can't really complain. If you guys wanna see this piece, I'll keep it around here for about a month or so before I take it back to the condo. All right, thank you for watching and always leave your thought down in the comment and I'll see you guys on the next review. Peace.